Amen. Amen. With cheers and roaring applause, Yvonne Spicer made history twice in Framingham. She's the city's first mayor and the first black woman to be elected mayor by voters in Massachusetts. Spicer won the city's top position on a promise to be the people's mayor. Well, today, that work begins. WBC's Ken McLeod is here tonight to show us how Spicer plans to lead the state's newest city. Ken? Liam, when Framingham decided to become a city, it was by just 100 votes. But when it elected Yvonne Spicer as mayor, the margin was much wider. Today, the political newcomer formally accepted that mandate, acknowledging there's a bunch of eyes on her and a lot of work to be done. Amen. When her hand came off the Bible, Yvonne Spicer was the first black woman in state history to be popularly elected mayor. One day, one step at a time. She was humble in her acceptance, but confident in her outlook. I'm confident that together we will do a great job. By we, she means the new council and school board, also sworn in today, as Framingham makes the leap from the nation's oldest town to the state's newest city. It's the place she moved as a fledgling teacher all those years ago. Framingham opened its arms to me, and I graciously accepted the invitation. I started my career here. I bought a home here. I established roots here. I raised my niece here. And now she's mayor here, a political novice who swamped her more experienced opponents with a grassroots campaign, urging Framingham's diverse residents to help her reinvent the city's struggling schools. I encourage all of us to reach out to each other and discover how we are woven with similar thread. She's also pledging to recruit new business as this new city looks for an economic rebound. We're building this ship as we drive it. And yes, we will trip up sometimes, but we'll get back on course. No surprise, some big political names turned out for this inauguration, but Yvonne Spicer made it pretty clear where her loyalty lies. This city chose me. Spicer says she's already met with each incoming city councilor, and everyone seems to be on the same page. She's also encouraging ideas from residents to help design the city's new seal so it can be a symbol that reflects today's Framingham not yesterday's. Lisa? And the future. Ken, thank you.